Recent mass shootings weigh heavily on the minds of many people. This afternoon, several law enforcement agencies across the valley held their National Night Out events, and the shootings in Texas and Ohio were talked about at tonight's gatherings. Demetrius Sanders is live in our newsroom. He had the chance to ask local law enforcement how these shootings impact what they do for a living. He joins us now with those details. Demetrius. Sadie, Mike, National Night Out is an event that first responders across the country host to become closer to their community. And after tragedy hit several communities across the U.S. in the past few weeks, officers say these types of events are even more important. With mass shootings recently taking place in El Paso, Texas, Dayton, Ohio, and Gilroy, California, some local law enforcement says they do consider if it happened closer to home. We'd like to think that it would never happen here, but that's not the reality of it. You know, uh, it's always a possibility that 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 could happen here or anywhere. While law enforcement hopes that they will not have to respond to a mass casualty incident, officers say they are prepared. Law enforcement officers of all agencies, whether you're a trooper, a city police officer, a county sheriff's deputy, any kind of law enforcement agency, we're coming, we're coming to stop that threat. Monday, both Greene County and Brazil first responders held national night out events to create a continued relationship between community and law enforcement. Chief Clark says when it comes to providing safety, this relationship is important. We can't do what we do without the community. You know what I mean? The community is is charged with the same responsibilities to protect each other as the police are. And while providing safety is not always easy, Chief McQueen says it is a job that law enforcement is glad to do. We're regular people out here just doing a different kind of job. And uh, we're glad to be trained to do that job to, to help protect people. Chief Clark says his department focuses on not only responding to tragedies, but also dealing with them afterwards. He says his department is able to do this by sharing experiences with others who have been through similar situations. Sadie. Demetrius, how many cities in the state of Indiana celebrate National Night Out? Sadie, according to the National Night Out website, there are 78 communities in Indiana who take part in this event. All right, Demetrius, thank you for that report.